we'll come back to this later. All right, let us look at some of the interface here. All right, what we have here, oh, let's do this. What we have here is a hotbar. It's basic standard in most MMOs. Granted, there's an action MMO. You may be asking yourself, well, why the hell is there a hotbar in an action MMO? Well, even though you do have to aim, and your basic attacks are here, like, your basic attacks will be here most of the time. Like, standard, your basic attacks are there. You do have to aim. That's such with that little... Like, wherever you aim is where you'll be attacking. Even in melee, you have to aim on the monster. Granted, that some melee users do have an arc to their swing, so even if they're not exact, uh, they will still hit it. But, uh, let's see here. Ah, yes. Nice little back jump here to keep distance while doling out ample DPS here. Fair, huh? All right. However, you do have your hotkeys, of course, which, uh, although there is a combo system in this game, we might get on that later with, we'll get on that later with the, uh, in-depth class views, but, uh, there's a combo system in this game, so generally you don't want to go too much into the hotbars, because this is your standard hotbar. You should not be using too much of this hotbar. You mostly want to be using combos, right? But there is the 1 through 8, 6, 1 through 6, can count. One through six, which you can put generally your general skills here. It's what pretty much what you're gonna want to do so you can reach them easily. And then what we have up here, which things you might not want to access as much. Like uh, let's see, band-aids here. Got some uh, speed potion. Stuff, you know, long cooldown buffs here. It's a racial here. Alright. Well that's your general UI there, like uh can put like this here instead. So instead of right clicking to do it, left click for auto attack, or main attack, not exactly auto attack. You do have to keep it held down if you want to do like constant attacks like this. But instead of right clicking to jump back, we can now press 1 to jump back. Yeah? Alright. As the person over there is demonstrating with the attack. Let's see. And what we have here is the this is the base user interface. Like if you press escape, you can press escape or alt. You open your UI. But what we have here is the radar. This right here is radar. Uh, basically, it's not exactly a map, but in your general area, it will show you certain quests, uh, important things. Like, uh, if there was a monster that I'm currently going after, or just an enemy, or some of some sort, it'll show you, it'll show me where it is. And as you can see, as I rotate, it also rotates showing exactly what direction I'm facing in. Handy, I might say. And what we have here is, ah, the channel. Like, right here you can click and select your channel, of course. Generally, it will, when you're doing, tr like, a kind of traveling, or, like, say, like, teleporting, generally it'll switch you to a high channel. I guess for convenience sake, or, you know, keep people grouped up all in one place. Like, you have to manually select to keep yourself in a uh, lower populated channel. There's the current area we're in, which is the starting zone of Timeless Woods. And, uh, what we have here is the PvP. Like, right now, PvP isn't allowed. I mean, we're only in a starting zone. Can't do much here. And this is where you would, I suppose you would click to open, as in, like, if you've seen these kinds of MMOs before, not, like, general action, but, I mean, MMOs that aren't, we say... Like Western MMOs, Any, like Eastern MMO. A lot of Eastern MMOs tend to have shops where you just open. To, usually, in, you have to be in town to do this, like in a main town. It's open shop, and you sell things while you can just AFK away. But uh, here we have a button for battlegrounds, which we currently cannot access any. 
Ah, in here. This is where your buffs would show up. Uh, let's move this. Currently the uh, channel thing is in the way. This is where your buffs show up. From here to left. Yeah. So, if you ever need to look at a buff, which buffs aren't all that important in this game. There's some that last for a while, but general buffs that party members produce for you aren't as important. The thing you really have to pay attention to in this game is preparation. It's very important. As we'll get to uh, just in a little bit. Uh, here. Here we are. As I said, preparation. But first, look. This is your HP. Your MP, of course. Standard. Uh, some classes don't have MP. You have a kind of energy. It depends on the class you play. It'll say MP, but it'll work differently. Depending on what you play. But, uh... What we have here is stamina, which I was saying before. Uh, this focuses a lot on preparation. Make sure you're prepared before you do something, right? Don't charge in head first, not thinking about it. Especially in a PvP server like this, you're really going to want to make sure you're prepared. Like, uh, I guess, suppose we can get into this. There's a tutorial on this in the game, of course, but, uh, like, campfires. That's basically all in the preparation. Campfires where you prepare. That's where you recharge your stamina. That's where you can use certain things, kinds of tags, that you can throw into the fires and buff everyone around the fire. It's all about preparation. Those buffs last for a nice long time, too. Alright. What we have here... Let's see. Oh, derp. Right. So, let's have a look at this. Basically, your character sheet. Uh, so it's called profile, but it comes up with either C or P. Basically, have a quick look at what you have equipped here, all your different kinds of equipment, earrings, necklace. And like I said, uh, these certain these different kinds of things uh, will appear on your character as you start equipping them. So say like like this is your, this is my standard outfit here. And it'll always look like this, basically, just with a different kind of color scheme or design, depending on uh, what I'm wearing. Let's say, like, I take things off, like... See? Same outfit, regardless. It'll just change depending on what I have on me. Nice way of doing it. Just can't get over it. It's a pretty nice way of doing it. Uh, let's see here. PvP record. Keen. Something you can keep track of in a place like this. What's interesting about the character, these character sheets here is, uh, what you don't have, aside from your standard equipment, you also have these, uh, crystal slots, which differ depending on your weapon and your armor. As you can see there, that enables two crystal slots. As is that one. Armor crystal slots. Open crystal shot slots. And as you get better weapons and armor, the, they'll enable more crystal slots, which you can equip more crystals. This is when you go to bed, and you can have different armor sets, as you can see here. You can save them. With this button here. Alright, let's take a look at skills, which, you know, standard MMO opens up with K. Yarp. Alright, and this is where you will f always find like any of the skills you learn, which you learn every even level. It's just kind of a interesting way to do it. You Every even level, you go to a trainer, which depending on uh, what your class is, uh, there's like a, is there like a magic trainer, and then there's like a skill trainer. So say you're like a, you're a casting class. I'm not sure about Archer, it's, uh, the Archer to tell you the truth. Uh, of about Ranger, but depending on your class, you'll either go to like one master or another. Like, but there's a tutorial on this, uh, of course. So let's go have a look at that, and I can give you a quick look at that. All right, now as I was saying, uh, what we have here are the instructors. From them, every every even level, you will be able to learn different kinds of skills. Every even level, can't stress that enough, every even level, you can learn different skills. Uh, from here, the magic instructor, your caster classes, say like a sorcerer, a mystic, priest, 
uh, he will teach you uh, your skills and from here the tactics instructor say like melee and the ranger here can learn from her you want to be strong then practice more or any tactics instructor these are just the starter tactics and uh, magic instructors so say like at level two I would be able to learn arrow volley handy and this goes all the way down to your max level which I think in this game is 60 of course not accessible now but uh, what we have here is all your skills all the way up to 58 alright let's have a look at quest log which you can open with L standard MMO of course you can't open it with Q you know it's like Quest log Q Q no, that's not how it works. There are some of these. There are some of these interesting interfaces. I'm guessing this is like a mark that you can mark someone with, and then quickly find them. Yeah. And as you can see, as you can press E here, there's some phrases here you can use quickly, like you're in battle. This is an action MMO, how it works, pretty much. But, let's take a look at the quest log. Standard MMO, but it's uh, separated to story quests, which is your main story quest. You pick it up, this is the orange ones. Of course, we can't see them here because we're a little too far ahead, but, uh,. What you see is your story quest. That's basically that leads you along the uh, main path that you'll be going. Zone quest, which is all the miscellaneous stuff. And uh, what we have here is guild quests, which is, I'm assuming, things you can unlock as you join a guild. Let's have a look at your inventory, which can be opened with I or B. The standard room. Uh, you locked at a certain number of slots that when you start but as you progress in your gameplay you can unlock more uh, money money is interesting in this game as a uh, it's not separated into separate forms of currency say like uh, in World of Warcraft where you would have uh, it's like gold silver and copper no it's just gold pieces I'm guessing yeah, I can't say anything else but uh, it stacks up pretty highly. It's kind of like it's a, like a lot of these MMOs. I, I would have to I'm gonna have to make the general uh, Eastern MMO uh, you know Eastern MMO generalization here that the currency just tends to stack up to a high amount, right? It just kind of stacks up to a high amount, and you use it as a, as you need. It's just kind of it's just no general way to determine like if you're rich or not, because you'll use it pretty fast if you're you know buying things that you need but uh... right so this, what's interesting features of the bag is that auto sort god i love that because if you're like me and you pretty much pick up anything and you're not sure exactly what's important and you're just kinda looking at your bag not one like not being able to determine what's important you need one of these <laughs> but yeah, let's see we have like oh you're probably wondering what this thing here is well that is a mini map right so if you play a lot of different uh, I guess you could say standard MMOs usually your mini map would be what this radar is no your mini map just kinda shows up here yeah it's selectable draggable as you can see uh, and it's pretty. It's a pretty good place for it. Tell you the truth, I like that place. But uh, you can also bring up your map, gives you a much more detailed view of where you are. Like right here, this is basically the starter island, the island of dawn. Very interesting. Ah, there we go. There's that orange quest. That's your story quest right there. So it's telling me I need to go back. But uh, this is the entire world here. This is where you start, of course. And what happens is once you finish your little starter island, you, you're able to venture off over here. Which is the... Right here is where the main city is. Uh, right, right, rather here. There we go. 
and this is where you start. You get your general quest telling you to go on missions and such, and that's when you start exploring into the world and leveling up. Let's see here, what else we have? Ah, yes, activities, of course. What is an MMO without a crafting system? You need to be able to make things, right? Yes. Of course, of course. I mean, I guess it would be a little boring if you couldn't make your own stuff. I mean, everyone wants to be able to make their own armor. I mean, it's like you wear this and say, I made this! Yeah. Let's look at this. Opens with J. Can't say it's an MMO. I mean, for different, for different MMOs, the crafting system varies pretty much a lot, by a lot. I mean, generally how it works and what you can craft uh, don't differ too much. But in the way that uh, they, they're implemented into the game tend to differ very, very much so. But what we have here is uh, this crafting system where what it is is you learn these, you learn how to, you learn how to craft, but then you have to find recipes for everything. You don't have any basics. You have to either buy or find recipes for everything that you want to make. Uh, there are some quests, uh, I found at least one quest, uh, playing through a sorcerer, I think, where you're given uh, a basic, yeah, I believe it's a quest for anyone, For you're given a basic uh, crafting recipe for your own weapon, for a weapon that you can use. But I'd assume that generally, uh, may, aside from maybe some quests where you're given uh, some recipes that you can use, to make your own stuff. Uh, aside from that, you're pretty much going to have to either buy them from other players, NPCs, or find them. You'd be very lucky. But this is an interesting crafting system in that uh, anything that you can craft, you can also extract. I mean, in similarities. In similarities. So, like, say you wanted to craft... Uh, you need the materials for a certain weapon. You extract the materials from a different kind of weapon. Pretty much. Anything like that. I'm not so sure about alchemy, though. I haven't gone too much into alchemy, to tell you the truth. Yeah, let's see. Of course, we have other activities. Her, her. Battle group. Now, this is interesting that, uh... I want to take a wild guess and say that has, this has something to do with, uh... how the servers will be arranged once this goes live. That... I want to... I don't want to, like, make comparisons to MMOs all the time, other MMOs, but, like, I'm pretty sure that's how it, it, it generally has to be, because, uh, in order to vary things up, what, what they'll probably be doing is combining, combining servers into battle groups, so you have a certain, you have certain sets of people. I mean, they may do it differently, but generally how World of Warcraft did it was, servers would be put into a battle group, and those are the people that you would generally be mixed with. Into those groups of servers, you battle with those people. So I'm guessing that you can have a look at what battle group you're in, which generally since there's only four servers right now, and uh, there's only so many people playing at the moment, can't, there's no battle groups, so that's not a big thing. So I'm guessing they're just pooling everyone into the same battleground right now, as to how battlegrounds would be working. Which I'm guessing, you know, you'd be able to see Battlegrounds if I were high enough level or at the appropriate point to be able to look at Battlegrounds or participate in them. As such with ranking, you would see your ranking if you were if you were to participate and do well in Battlegrounds or do horribly, depending completely upon yourself. But, uh, yes. I like that there's a ranking system. That's an interesting way to go about it. See, I like this. This is a very social action game. And we'll get a little bit more into that later, the social aspect of it. <clears throat> but what we have here is pets. I'm not exactly sure how pets work, to tell you the truth. I haven't gotten a pet yet. But as far as I know, uh, I know there's like there are certain kinds of thralls that I think uh, mystics get. But aside from that, I'm not sure how pets how a pet would work. I'm guessing it would be some kind of minion or like assistant or like a... Like a like general pets like you see in other MMOs, like they help you, they assist you in combat, pretty much. Most pets, yeah. But I want to say that maybe you find them or buy them, pretty much by luck, or they may be given to you at a certain point, like a mount is in this game. As like uh, mounts are given at a certain point, uh, once you reach level either eleven or twelve, you're given a free mount, pretty much. Ah, and then we have achievements. 
This would not be a modern game without it. Every modern game must have achievements, apparently. And there are many. And of course, there are those, I want to say, like, derp achievements where you just get them for not, har like, hardly doing anything or just completing a general quest. Yeah. Achievements are achievements. Just don't pay any attention to them if you don't like them. Pretty much how it is. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we have Enchant, which is kind of a mystery to me. I haven't looked at into this at all. I, I, sad to say, because this looks interesting. I'm guessing uh, how enchanting would work. You just use maybe some materials, or you just risk your item. Like there are certain, there are certain, uh, say like boxes where you stick an item in and you possibly gamble to get multiples of that item. I'm guessing this would work similarly, where you risk your item in order to get maybe, you know, possibly a better item out of your item. Say, like, item as in armor or weapons. That's what I'm guessing. Yeah, here we have here. Interesting interface, which I'm guessing, uh, be, they'll be holding events eventually at, you know, certain points in time. Uh, one time, one time items, yeah. I'm guessing, like, seasonal kind of things, or maybe, uh... I'm I'm going to assume seasonal anniversary, or like on a whim kind of celebratory kind of things, and then of course we have like these kind of things, uh, also to do with events and such. But basically, this is right now. This is a place more presumably, be, presumably, for it's like say if you pre-order or get the special edition of Terra, then you get you know these items are for every one of your characters. Like they will always be here for you to claim. Ah, and right here. Social aspect. Here we go. Social aspect. Uh, what we have here... Yeah, what we have here are uh, the Vanarchs. Basically, area management. Uh, so say like... I want to say like mayor don't want to say like uh, like not complete dominion it's kind of like a, a sort of democracy system where if you're popular you get to rule over an area for a certain you know particular point in time like see there's there's a time for raining and then after that point in time I'm, I don't know how this how exactly the system works but I'm guessing you could possibly impeach people uh, get people kicked out of the position and then get them replaced, but there's a time for uh, rain and there's a time for candidacy. So once your rain runs out, uh, new people will be up for candidacy. And you can manage the area, you get to help the NPCs and such, and, you know, gen general management. I mean, this makes it makes this game very interesting in that you can manage the areas, possibly affecting them in some way. Which is it's a good way to go about this. I like this. It makes the game very social in that uh, it's not forced. But it's just an interesting way to look at the game. Yeah, and of course, the candidates can't look at that right now because it's not something we're testing. Testing general gameplay right now. Uh, let's see. Subscription information, which, subscription information, which brings up this little window which is nothing right now but uh... I suppose in the future uh, to speculate it could be something like uh... it gives you information on how long you have left because right now they they are projecting that this is going to be a subscription based game of course of course I mean you don't tend to think that uh... eastern games are subscription based they don't tend to be they really don't I mean uh... you don't see too many Eastern MMOs that are subscription based, at least not not a lot of the ones I've seen, but I'm, I'm supposed this would be, this would show you when your time runs out, uh, possibly some items of management, I'm not exactly sure, it's all speculation. Okay, what we have here is a social menu, yeah. right here, look at that, well anyway, guild, comes up with G, standard, but uh, here you would like view your members, details applications people can just people can just apply to your guild right so 
we'll look at that in a second, but people can just apply to your guild and you can just manage applications quite easily. I like this as a nice interface, right? Pretty, it's a pretty good interface, I like it. But uh, right here, this is specific to uh, PvP worlds. Right here is uh, guild versus guild. I guess you could have a rivalry or just like, that guild annoys me, let's have a fight. And then you just like challenge another guild to GVG, 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 and uh, it's kind of interesting to tell you the truth. I like this guild versus guild. That's uh, that's actually it's a, it's a cool concept there. I like it. And then we have uh, your friends menu, of course. Standard comes up with uh, you. And uh, what we have here, standard friends menu, uh, right? Your blocked list, of course. You need those. That needs to be had. <laughs> and this is this is an interesting feature right here. I like uh, the trade log. Uh, I suppose if you were to trade or use any sort of uh, auction house or sell things, this trade log would tell you exactly uh, a track record of what has been going on with your account. Now, this would be good for say, like, uh, if you gotten some kind of. Uh, some kind of horrible problem, say like your account got hacked, uh, somehow someone got a hold of your password or some sort, or they just got complete control of your account, and then finally you got it back, and uh, like there's stuff gone, and you're not sure exactly what happened. I suppose you could look at this trade log and see what happened. Like say you traded something, or rather the other person, whoever got control of your account, traded something, and you could see exactly what would have been traded, what had been lost. And you could show this, uh, I, I suppose, if if they're, uh, if, say, in mass uh, policy is well enough, there, no hello there, if their policy is well enough, uh, then they, they you could show them this trade log, and they could assist you with recovering your items, right? Because, you know, you have a log of items that have been lost, and... Uh, and you weren't actually online from your main system or wherever you usually log in from then. Get your items back. It's handy. Let's see here. You know, or just, you know, <laughs> just keep a track of, you know, who owes me this or I let them borrow that or I suppose the trade log. And we have Deathmatch, which is interesting. Uh, quick comparison. I'm going to say this straight out because I'll tell you the truth. I did play WoW for a long time. Basically an arena system. That's what I want to say. It's an arena system. You challenge another team to uh, a match. Stakes here, which I like. I like that. Because you can like challenge like, I'll bet you this, I can I can beat you or whatever. It's like, see I like that that option's there. It's a good option to have. That's it's what makes this it's, it makes it an interesting game. Because it is about the challenge and it is an action game. So like, uh... So, Oh my god, there's a lot of Baraka. So say, uh, that there were... Say that you had just like a team of people, a team of your friends, and you challenged another team of people. Or like just you and another friend or something, I suppose. And you could just gamble some things here and just say, well, I bet you this and I bet you this. And it's an interesting way to go about it. I like it. It probably doesn't... Granted... I, I did compare it to the arena system, but it might or might not bring you to an arena. I haven't tested it myself, but I want to take a wild guess and say it might not. It may just be a challenge system that gives you the ability to uh, have stakes. Which is most probably. It's most probable. It's bleh, most probable. But uh, yeah, what we have here is looking for group interface. It's as so far as I can see here, it's not your like it's not like an automatic grouping thing <clears throat> that I will not speak of but uh it is just a basic system of like you advertise what your group is like here yeah, you have a group and you just set up an advert uh, saying join this group please like in your general area so it's like an easier way of posting for groups instead of like yelling like in the area like this like just join my group don't just post this here uh, granted that I really don't think a lot of people will use it because they might just find it easier to just type in the area and just say join this group. But it's a, it's a nice thing to have, you know? It's a nice option. Yeah, and of course, there's this little menu that, like, people can apply to your group from that menu and you can just invite them if they apply. It's, it's a nice way to go about it. Ah, and I like this here. Guilds on server. It's basically a list of guilds. 
So what you have here is guilds, several stats, and then what we have here is you can praise them, right? And you can apply to them if they're accepting applications, of course. Which is a nice interface. I like this. You can look at like all the various guilds on your server and just apply to whatever you want instead of just asking around like what's a good guild? Like you can just click the apply button and uh, apply to a guild like if you so if you so choose. Uh, let's say like if I wanted to apply to uh, let's see the order. Can write a little application here and click send. And or you know say if you if you don't want to join them but you've seen them and you think they're freaking awesome you can just click praise and praise them as such and of course a little tend to praise there are level restrictions of course standard MMO but uh, uh let's see and then of course we have the system menu which we have the channel this is like a separate than a separate kind of option to as to clicking that and changing channel. And scroll through your channels here. Yeah. But. We have the help menu. Which like say. If you forgot something. These are these are a lot of the basics of the game. Things that you basically need to know stuff. So say if you forgot something. Or if you've been gone for a long time. Or if you're just starting out. Uh, there were buttons up here earlier. If you didn't catch that. Those buttons lead you directly to this menu here. And uh. They help you along the way. Like, it's just really basic stuff. Right? We have here key mapping, which I said I would get back to. <laughs> I would get back to uh, from the loading screen. They basically show you this. It's just a map of all the standard keys. These are the defaults. This will not change if you change your keys. This is just an image of default keys. So anything you might need to know, like, uh, say, it's your move keys. Of course, it closes it. <laughs> I accidentally hit it. Let's remove keys, and then we have, uh, you know, skill buttons. It shows you all the buttons you can buy for skills, extended skills. It's everything you need to know, basically. Standard, just like the help menu. Standard thing. Like say if you forget something, you just click options. Look at your key mapping. This is a game that you can just pick up whenever and just quick look at it. Nice action game. And then we have the nice unstuck. Unst I want to say unstick. And then, as I look at this, I realize that obviously, uh, no, not obviously, but apparently, unstick isn't a word. As I was, as I keep looking at this option here, unstick's not a word. But unstuck, the unstuck option, if you, it's it's basically a debug. Say like, uh, if I were to get stuck somewhere, right, or if I'm just way the hell out here where I'm not supposed to be, I could just do this. Go to unstuck. Oops. Uh, yeah. And it sends you to the nearest. Well, I, I don't want to say graveyard. The nearest respawn point. As such, this is where you would respawn if you died, and this is also where you go if you are stuck. Use the unstuck option. Go to respawn point. All right. Let's see here. Support. Which is interesting. Uh, I must say that I am a little disheartened that they don't have a ticketing system because those are handy. Those are handy to have, but that's that's all right because it's not standard. And it's not standard for everything, but uh, they do have this customer support. This little customer support uh, interface here. But what it, what it all does is, uh, if you need to contact the uh, customer support, if you contact support but this contact support button here will basically take you to a support page on their website where you have to log in. You can have a look there at uh, anything you need to know about Terra, some of the basics, basic problems and such. Their support page, and what they have here is uh, as aside from that is they give you the e email that you may need, that you may need to know. Say, like, if you do want to con contact them directly, then you can just, you know, email request to contact at inmass.com or reporting a bug. Yeah? That's basically how it goes. Let me have a look at uh, 
Your options. So a nice bit of options here. Show name options, which are always handy to have. Sometimes the names can get annoying. Help settings. Short tips, which can be annoying, but are still kind of handy, because sometimes you forget things. Like, I, uh, I'll admit sometimes, even though I've, I've played this game for a while now, not to say like a long while, but it's like uh, three out of the four... Three out of the four beta days I've had access to, I've played this game, and sometimes I'm still learning things from, learning things from the tips. And we have camera speed, which is handy. We got the keep you eye on travel, which is which is really handy to have because I really should have that enabled. Because what it does is it'll zoom you in like a lot when you travel someplace. Ah, and this is interesting. If you if you do a this is this is a, this is a strange option. I'm not sure why exactly that's here, but uh, let me show you this real quick. But if you are to do a uh, story quest, basically, like by default, that is on, and uh, it will zoom you in all the way to us, like so you have good detail on your uh, talking animation with whatever NPC you're doing the story quest with. So say like, uh, let's go talk to her. Right, right. Really doing this a little bass backwards, ain't I? All right, let's talk to her. So basically, story quest. Helping others oh. is a delight. Right. It would help if I enabled it. <laughs> As an example. Even though it's a little annoying to me. New. No. Alright, here we are. See, so as you can see, the options here. Uh, mission quest only, all dialogue. Mission quest, story quest, basically. So if I talk to her. For the Federation. Greetings. It's not doing it. Such urgency. But basically, Unity. it'll zoom you in like this, and at a particular angle, it'll put you. So it's like you're looking and talking to her at a particular angle, in a story-like fashion. So like, it'll zoom you in and say, "Hey, this is a very important moment. You might want to read this quest because this is part of your story." Basically, how it goes. All right. Gathering camera zoom. Which is an interesting option. I didn't disable that. That was kind of disabled already. But I suppose if you were to gather something, uh, you might zoom in on yourself by quite a bit, just so show you the action of gathering. This is an action game, and it might it might intensify it might intensify things for some people to just kind of really be in on it as as you're gathering something like you're really good. Gathering that that mushroom on the ground. Yes, but uh, <laughs> these are your options for like your quick chat, like I've seen, like I've shown you before. Like these are the things, these are the things you would say. See, like uh, you can edit these, of course. Like, please come help for the left one. Uh, see, like, boy, come here. Can apply that. Let me try this out, eh? <laughs> there we go. It's a nice little customization thing. Give your character a bit of personality, even though you're doing like auto chat things. I like that. But uh, pet information, which I can't go into because I haven't had a pet. Uh, but we have like game information, things that are disabled by default for some reason. I suppose that they'd be annoying if they were on all the time because these are alerts, which is handy because as as far as I've seen, uh, I haven't really looked into this, but I haven't seen any mods for this game. I might want to look into that at some point in time, but uh, I haven't seen mods or add-ons, which I don't see why well, exactly would need add-ons. This is an action MMO. Pretty much, it requires you to pay attention to what you're doing, as mm -hmm. is, you know, action. But the alerts are pretty handy. We have the audio options, of course. Need those. GVG background music. That must always be on. 
screen settings, video, GS. Now these are these the video effects are interesting, <clears throat> and how they're used. And uh, it's interesting that the way that they uh, the way that they set the game up is it pretty much looks beautiful, regardless. Like I, I have I have the polygons on characters at not too high of a setting, but it still looks pretty damn amazing. The only thing that might make it look a little bit ugly is if you adjust the background because things look pretty grim if you uh, adjust it to you know if you make it too low aside from that aside from that things are pretty vibrant pretty damn vibrant in this game all right have a look at some more options UI options always handy and then of course you can edit your keys like I said before, like that's why I made it clear before that you you can't uh, if you do edit your keys, you're going to have to relearn them yourself because uh, yourself yourself because uh, the key map thing that shows you right here your default keys these are you just your defaults. This is only an image; it won't change with uh, your keys here. So in case you ever forget you're gonna to have to come here to your shortcuts and have a look at those and I'm guessing that you'd be smart enough to know that considering that uh... you know you edited them you edited them in the first place so many options in case you ever need that many buttons which you really shouldn't because this game is really about is really about combos which I should probably give you a quick look at no, just just to show you combos Th wrong thing chain skills basically and how they work is uh, pretty simple it's all in the space so the same thing uh, same as your jump say like uh, let's say I wanted to back step I combo that this is basically this is basically how my sorcerer works because you want to keep a good distance, right? So, check that off to make sure that that always works no matter what. Because if you have that checked, it'll only work if you're in combat. But uh, let's have a look at this. So say, I want to make sure I always keep a good distance. So I want to make sure that combo is always there for quick fire. So say like, uh, well that, that, that skill. So I don't have to really pay attention too much. Like it'll pop up in the middle of the screen. Say I shoot an arrow. Right, see it pops up there. And it's basically always there. So if the enemy happens to get too close, I can just hit back. Backstep space. That's simple. Lovely. You gotta love the combo system. It gets more complex as you get to higher levels. I will tell you that. Because as you get more skills, you you tend to uh, well, at least I did. You tend to figure more ways to try to uh, combo them or chain them together and make your combat more interesting. Or even easier if you have too many skills, because you really don't want to fill up your action bar. Not that you have a limited amount of spaces, but this is an action game, and it's not as fun if you turn it into uh, your standard MMO. I want to say standard, standard. You know what the standard is. I'm not going to even say it anymore. If you turn it into your standard MMO, it's not as fun. This is an action MMO. All right. Uh, and of course, we have the logout. But, uh, yes, please join me again, uh, next time, whenever, for when I will be looking at more in-depth looks at, uh, the classes, uh, some racial skills, uh, things like that, basically. But, uh, yeah. Until next time, the beard awaits.